Hey, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym of Wellness Live. So we're going to wait a couple of minutes to try and get a couple of viewers before I actually get into the tip. Um, so yes, Danny K live to you on Monday morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, starting off their week right, getting a workout in. So today's tip is about making healthy choices in a restaurant you know when you go out to eat you know a lot of times people say well I'm trying to lose weight so I can't go out to eat so they, they kind of like shut themselves down from you know going out and enjoying things well the truth of the matter is if you have some knowledge about what you know what you can eat and choices that you can make and stuff like that hey Tammy um, you know the, the, the choices all you have to do is just be your own advocate about your own food choices um, and really truly want that. You know, sometimes when we go out, we're just like, ah, screw it. You know, we've made that choice to be bad um, or to not not be so good. Um, but other times we try and, you know, because we're trying to be good, we try and keep ourselves from going out and enjoying, you know, girls night out or family or friends or lunch, lunches with the, with the coworkers or whatever. Um, but, you know, so when I do meal plans with my clients, um, you know, I teach them. That's the whole purpose of my meal plan is to teach everyone how to eat and how to make those healthy choices even when they're forced or faced with you know not so healthy choices you know like if you're going to a cookout or a wedding or you know where food is already there you know and like buffet kind of things you know there's smarter choices and all you need to know is what to do, what to eat, how to eat it. Um, and so when I do a meal plan with, with, with my clients, I teach them that. Um, so, you know, it, it's definitely, you know, food for thought, yes, pun intended. And, you know, I mean, it's knowledge that you can carry away with and, and help your kids, help, you know, other people, you know, that, that don't have a connection or contact with me. Um, but you can eat out and eat healthy. I do it all the time. You know, I mean, I'm single. I'm, you know, I work a lot, you know, so it's, it's hard for me to, you know, cook for one person or whatever, you know, unless I, you know, definitely make the plan to make different, you know, meals throughout the day. So cook, you know, big food and then space them out throughout the week. I mean, through the days throughout the week. Uh, but sometimes I just don't have time, but I do know because I've done this for so many years, how to make choices when dining out. So so the thing is, almost every place you go, they have some sort of chicken or fish, right? It's, it's inevitable, you know, and if they have chicken or fish, they sure as hell can grill it for you. And, you know, just because it says fried or if it's your know, fried chicken or whatever, they can sure grill stuff for you. Um, another thing, it's inevitable that every restaurant nowadays has salads, right? And if they have like, you know, look at their menu and the sides that they have for, um, you know, they have uh, you know, some sort of vegetable of the day and stuff like that. So these are things that you look for, you know, and instead of keeping yourself secluded from, from everything that other people are doing, you can still do and let the people that you're with, I mean, I don't know how many times, like we we have girls night out every Wednesday or, you know, at least once a week. Sometimes the, the, the Wednesday changes. Um, with that, I still make the, the healthy choices. Some, some, some of the girls in my group, they may not make their healthier choices. Whatever, and that's on them. That's fine. They can do whatever they want. And that's the thing with, with even when you're going with a group, with a family, with friends, whatever it is, with coworkers, you are ultimately in control of what you put in your mouth. So if everybody else wants to do pizza or everybody else wants to do whatever, nine times out of 10 in restaurants where there's pizza, you can get a grilled chicken salad, guaranteed. Nine times out of 10, if you wanna go, if they wanna go to Chinese, there is every, every Chinese restaurant that I know of has steamed chicken with vegetables. Okay. So you can get your Chinese. You don't have to, um, you know, like I said, go without or not hang out with your friends or family or whatever, because you can't eat out. There's always 
choices that you can make. It's just knowing what to make, what to choose. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, there's a lot of times where, you know, it might say like there's one restaurant that I go to that has, you know, like a, a grilled salmon and sauteed vegetables. Sauteed means there's a lot of oil that they're, you know, cooking that with. Um, you know, and people say, oh, it's olive oil or it's virgin, you know, whatever. So that's good, you know. Well, all said and done, yes, that, that is a better choice of oils. However, the extra calories, I don't want because especially when you're going to a restaurant you're not quite sure how they do make certain things and if they are grilling you're hoping that they're grilling on a regular you know regular uh, pan or whatever but they might use some oils or whatever to grill it um, so there's a little bit extra calories that you may not be aware of that you don't fix your meals that way however you know just being smarter and if you can let go of some of the extra oil um, calories like if it says sauteed vegetables well guaranteed they can steam them for you so that's what i do i always say you know if i want that um that particular platter that meal that is the grilled um the grilled salmon with sauteed vegetables i ask can instead of sauteing the vegetables can you steam them so they steam those vegetables for me and then it's it, i don't have the oils that are in there and stuff like that so it's just reading you know reading the menu thoroughly like what is all what what's all in it thinking about what they might cook with or whatever and just ask them um several times when i've you know gone like and yes on vacation i still if it's not cheat day i still try and eat healthy so you know on vacation i might ask for an egg white omelet and you know hoping that they don't cook it you know i try and ask them don't cook it with butter don't put milk in it you know because a lot of times restaurants will put milk in um in their egg whites or in in their eggs period to kind of fluff them up i don't want those extra calories so i ask them please just egg whites just plain no fluff in them you know that kind of thing so don't be afraid to ask i mean in this day and age people are more health conscious they're more aware of their foods you know and the, and the waiters and you know the cooks they're they're aware of those things and and honestly it's not really a pain and if that waiter or waitress feels like it's a pain in the ass to take your order that way then you know i would be suggesting another waiter and hope that they don't spit in your food <laughs> But anyways, but you get what I'm saying. There's so many, so many choices that you can make. And just because you're going, everybody at, the, at work, um, it, it was brought to my attention the other day that everybody at work wanted to go to Chinese. Well, I had to do the, the bad Chinese food. I'm like, did you know? And or did you read the light? I think, what what is it called? Light fair or light affair? I can't remember how they call it. But um they have steamed choices so you know you don't have to have all those although it's nice and good and and i love those sauces and everything that you know that's in your chinese food and so forth but if you're trying to be good but yet trying to you know mix with everyone else and and not feel like an outcast you know choose the the smarter choices and and again it's all on you everybody can go wherever they want i mean you know you can pick whatever restaurant but nine times out of ten there's going to be some healthy choices that you can actually make but it's up to you don't say oh well they wanted to go to pizza hut so i had to have pizza now nah, because they have chicken salads okay so it, you know you can do that um you know if they wanted to go someplace you know I don't know whatever like I said Chinese you know you didn't have to pick all the Chinese like sauce crapolas you know you can get the steamed chicken uh, with with steamed vegetables and they have brown rice so you can ask for brown rice instead of the white rice so it's all about knowing what to choose and if you don't know what to choose I got you <laughs> I go over that with um, with my clients with meal plans they have continual access with me um, when they get a meal plan with me all they have to do is just text me and say hey the girls or the the you know co-workers or the family or whatever they want to go over here I'm not quite sure what I can get on the menu can you help me out and eventually they learn and they don't have to come to me as much but they know that the door is always open so you know, if you have any questions about what to do you know when you're dining out or you know you're trying to like because you're trying to lose weight you don't eat out you know because you don't know what to do i got you i can help you so all you have to do is come to danny k jimmy wellness danny k jimmy wellness.com danny k jimmy wellness on facebook um 
you know, call me um, and, uh, you know, I can help you come in, get a meal plan, um, you know, get some knowledge about what to do when you're put in those kinds of situations about eating out. You can eat out. It is very possible. I have done it for years upon years. And, um, you know, I mean, even when we've had like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm into, you know, Relay for Life, um, we've had some, you know, get togethers and foods and stuff like that. And Tammy and Megan are on right now live with me and they know I've made some smart choices because even though all that food is there, I don't have to eat those foods. I can pick smarter choices and make sure and or ask to make sure that there are smarter choices there for me. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's not about everyone else controlling what you eat. And, you know, it's, it's about you controlling what you eat. You are in control of, and you don't have to say that everybody's forcing you to eat, you know, these, this bad Chinese food or this bad, you know, pizza or, you know, this hot dog or whatever, you know, because everyone wanted to go to Harry's lunch. At Harry's lunch, there's grilled chicken salads. Nine times out of ten in almost every single restaurant, if they got chicken, they can, and I'm sure they got salads, so they can put a grilled chicken breast on a salad or they can do a grilled chicken breast with some steamed vegetables. They have vegetables, they have salads, they have chicken. You can get something healthy. So it's just, it's about, it's about you picking that healthy choice, making that healthy choice, and not letting someone else control you and say, well, that's where they wanted to go. Fine, you can go there and you can still have fun, but make a healthy choice. Put that on you, not on them, okay? So if you do have any other questions about um, you know, eating out, uh, making healthy choices, smart choices, um, even even if you do portion control, you know, smaller portions of the bad food that you have just a little bit of a taste, but yet, you know, not plopping it all on your, you know, on your plate. There's so many different ways that I can personally help you with making smarter choices um, with the things and the foods that are that are given to you or brought to you or, you know, put in, you know, when you're in, in that kind of setting, whether it's a buffet thing that was brought to work or, you know, the, the dining out that, you know, that the coworkers want to do or the family wants to do. There's always smart choices. So all you have to do is just get into the knowledge of it and I can help you with that. So please contact me, Danny K. Jimmo Wellness on Facebook, DannyKJimmoWellness.com. And if you're here locally in Westminster, Maryland, just pop in the gym. Talk to me. I got you. All right. So I hope y'all have a great day. I hope that helped a lot of you and um, look for the choices on the meal plan or on the on the menu and don't be afraid to ask questions ask questions and make it about you okay all right stay in tune stay informed stay motivated bye